Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve this equation. Okay, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. First note that this equation is when defined for x greater or equal to 1. Okay, so if we call our f of x be equal to this one, the square root of x, just to square root of x minus 1 plus x minus 2 square root of x minus 1 okay if this is our f of x we want to solve the equation f of x equal to 1 okay first of all let's just see see how this can be written okay what is this one if we take this we have in fact the square root of x plus 2 square root of x minus 1. This is equal to the square root of x minus 1 plus 2 square root of x minus 1. Now plus 1 here. Okay, we still have the same thing. We did not change anything. So what is this one? This is again the square root of the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 times the square root of x minus 1 plus 1. Okay. We still have this. And what is this one? This is in fact the square root of the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 squared. Everything square. And we know that this is in fact equal to the square root of x minus 1 because this one is positive the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 okay we have this one this is positive for x greater or equal to 1 okay we have this now let's see how this one here can also be written okay so if we take the square root of x minus 2 square root of x minus 1. What is this? This is again equal to the square root of x minus 1 minus 2. Okay. Minus 2 square root of x minus 1. Now plus 1 here. Okay, we have this, which is again equal to the square root of square root of x minus 1 minus 1 times the square root of x minus 1 minus 1. Okay, we have this, and this is again the square root of of the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 squared okay and we know that this is equal to the absolute value of the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 okay because for x greater or equal to 1 this one can also be negative that's the reason why i put the absolute value here okay now we know already the expression of this one and this one now let's just replace it and solve the equation f of x equal to zero okay so we we'll just have that our new f of x is equal to this one 
which is the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 now plus this one which is the square root the absolute value of the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 okay so you want to solve the equation f of x equal to 1 this means that you want to solve this equation which is equivalent to the square root of x minus 1 plus 1 plus the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 1. This is equivalent to the square root of x minus 1 plus the absolute value of x minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, because I send this one on the other side. Okay. So what is this now? We know that this is greater or equal to 0 and the absolute value is also greater or equal to 0. So if this summation is equal to 0, this means that either x minus 1 the square root is equal to 0 and the absolute value of the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 okay so we have this this means that the square root of x minus 1 is equal to 0 and this the square root of x minus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 okay this implies again the square root of x minus 1 is equal to 0 and and the square root of x minus 1 is equal to 1 okay you can see here that we have this equal to 0 and the same thing equal to 1 which is not possible because something can cannot be equal to 0 and equal to 1 at the same time so this is this is an absurdity so this equation has no solution so the equation f of x equal to 1 has no solution so we just showed that this equation has no solution thank you for watching the video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you